Hi everyone. I wanted to give you a little update before um, before I get started into my next topic. I saw my oncologist. I don't like a lot of the options, especially the pills. Um, one will mess up my heart, the other one will make my bones brittle, and I'll still have all of those side effects that you have with chemo. And they're more like maintenance rather than something that will take me into, um, into remission again. So I'm opting for a rather complicated surgery that comes with a lot of risks. I have some options within the surgery. Um, so I don't know exactly what we're going to do yet, but I will uh, know a little bit more in about a week. Um, there's a lot of consulting going on um, with my oncologist and some other experts in the field. So I will keep you posted. But in the meantime, I am enjoying some uptime. Um, it's just so nice. To, it's, I can't tell you. I mean, like I still have brain fog. I still need some naps, but I do feel so much better. And so I'm just going to enjoy a couple of weeks off and try to detox a little bit before I go on to another step. And that means maybe I can bring you a few more videos. So I will let you know how that goes. Today, I wanted to talk to you about intuition. Now you've heard of mediumship, intuition, and healing, all kind of three different things. And today we're going to tackle the intuition because everyone has that to one degree or another. It is not really the mind, but the mind can be used as a tool to bring out your intuition. Um, you know, like you get something and then your mind will process it for you, but you can't taint it with your mind and your thoughts because it's not really where it comes from. It comes from here and it comes from the gut. And the reason that we all have a little bit of a different talent is depending on how grounded we are in our earth life. Earth life gets very complicated and some people's lives are a little bit more in disarray than other people's. And that means that we're really so grounded and we're so immersed in putting out fires and things in our earth life and you know, crazy schedules and things like that, that we forget about our spiritual growth. Whereas intuition doesn't come from all that. It comes from out here. So if you think about it, if you think about an egg, whether it's fried egg or whether it's a hard boiled egg, the yolk is a certain size and we are encompassing that. There's lots of egg white out here, lots of egg white. And that is where the language of our soul are, is. I mean, you're sitting in a room with somebody else. You're really touching. I mean, there are some theories that your soul actually reaches out about 80 feet. And that's the auric field. And intuition can be found that there. It's, it's more the language of the soul. So when your life is going a little better and you know if you're in a happy place sometimes you'll find your intuition you're in tuned with um, the world around you a little better okay because you're not so scattered and not trying to get things done um, <clears throat> so even when I'm going through cancer you know and I'm, I'm doing some readings here and there just basically because of my energy not my abilities and so when I am going to do readings, whether that is mediumship or whether that is intuition for predictive work and things that I just see, um, you know, I want to be in the right frame of mind. So it's not just about being tired, but I try to de-stress my life and try not to get so caught up in, in things that are so easy to be stressed out about, you know, um, I had a client once who had committed suicide and I was coaching them for probably a year and doing kind of life coach. And, and he was also in, um, 
with a psychologist. And that was the one thing I required because he was suicidal at the time. Well, longer story short, I got a call that he actually had killed himself and it was 20 minutes from the next reading. So I was just kind of like this because I, I was just broken up about this. I was, I felt very close to this person. And so I looked at my watch and I was like, okay, you got 10 minutes to cry and 10 minutes to get your act together because I'm not going to give half of me to the next client. You know, so there is kind of a discipline in this. Um, if I wasn't able to do that, obviously I would have rescheduled that person, but everybody deserves the best of you um, if this is the work that you choose. But in any case, we all have that when you walk into somebody's house and you're just, you know, you feel an energy, you feel a residual energies around you. Um, you just, you meet someone and you just know if you want to like, boy, that guy, that person, that, that person just seems so sweet. And I would just like to invite them to lunch. And then there's other people that are like, Oh, I don't even want to shake their hand. <laughs> you know, it just happens. It, it's chemistry, but it's also about what's out here in the auric field. It's a sense. We, we have six senses. And you have to sort of melt them all together. We wouldn't call them a sense. The intuitive, we wouldn't call it a sense if it didn't actually go hand in hand with, you know, sight and hearing and all the senses we have. Um, they go hand in hand, but the other ones help you process it. So there are some people that have talents where they smell things and it's kind of like, you know, there's a lot of sensory perception going on, but you do have to realize that you're not listening to yourself most of the time and you have to practice that. So that gut feeling that there's something going on, even if you're not sure what it is, there's probably something going on. And I think I had mentioned this before, that I would wake up with headaches or I would get these downloads in my sleep all night long, something's bothering me. I don't feel good. I'm blaming it on the weather or something else. And this is pre-cancer. And as it turned out, I just look at the news and find out there was an earthquake or there's, there's people suffering. There's always people suffering, of course, but that this would be a very concentrated place of, um, you know, of suffering. And as an empath, my heart goes out to that, but I'm listening to my intuition and my intuition is coming out in different senses, you know? So um, that is where your intuition is in cooperation of the mind, but you cannot confuse the mind with the cooperation because as part of the ego is the mind. So there's a delicate balance there, but everyone has intuition. We have to pay more attention to it. How many times did you not kick yourself in the butt because you didn't listen to yourself. Oh, I knew that. Why the heck wasn't I thinking? You know, what or what was I thinking? And it's not that you weren't thinking, you're just not in tune with yourself. So spirit's giving you a little bit of a nudge, but it's easy to ignore. So we have to stop ignoring ourselves and what spirit's telling us. And when I say spirit is telling us, I'm not talking about channeling necessarily. I might be talking about your spirit, all of the egg white. It's all there. It's all there. It's just a matter of tuning into it. And of course, I always say meditation is the key to that. Meditation doesn't have to be that hard. There's lots of guided ones. It could just be sitting there and listening to your favorite music and trying to bring the music in and shutting the rest of the world out. Now you're sitting there going, you know, what are we having for dinner? Did I take that out of the freezer? You know, it, it's a very delicate balance, but it takes practice. The other thing is there's certain meditative videos and, and this way you direct your mind, you know, but the practice, 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 practice will sharpen that intuition, but you already have it, okay? You can make better decisions for yourself with it because you may question 
a job offer, for instance, but you're like, you know, I don't know whether I want that or not, or da, da, da. sit and think about it. Just well, think about it, but let thoughts flow and see how your gut feels. If it doesn't resonate with you, there's probably something wrong. And that's true of relationships of all kinds. That's true of situations that maybe you don't want to enter. And it usually serves you right. And honestly, if it serves you wrong, you probably weren't listening in the right way. But try it. Here's how you can challenge yourself. Okay, I'm going to give you some exercises. If you're going, let's say tomorrow, let's say you're going to work, and I want you to choose a coworker, and this, of course, if you're not working remote, <clears throat> and decide before you get into the office what they're wearing, just the color. Don't even have to be. If you want to go further, that's fine, but just shut your eyes and imagine that person and what they might be wearing today, okay, tomorrow. And there are things you can do, like even in traffic, if, you, if, if cars are coming around the corner, decide what color the next car is going to be. Just visualize it. Maybe you want to look at the next license plate and say it's going to be this or, or it's going to be out of state or you know so there are things you can challenge yourself with every day in every way you just have to decide to do it you know I mean it's fun it's actually a very fun game when you're going to go into a new place you've never been you know you want to you park and you go into the building and think about what color the walls are going to be is it going to be a hipster joint or is it going to be very conservative you can decide what the cashier is going to look like. So you can challenge all the time. And just take a day of that and just have fun with it. Um, whoever you're with that day, you can do it together and see who's a little closer, you know. But it's a fun way to build your intuitive muscle. And so I'm going to leave you with that. And we'll talk more about intuition and we'll, we'll talk about healing and we'll talk about mediumship. Um, you know, not more today. I'm going to take my nap. I still need that. But I, I will talk to you very soon. All right. Namaste. Feel blessed. Be blessed. Bye.